and there are so many great desserts that require no baking at all. Jill Garcia Schmidt is back and this time we are making avalanche bars. These which things. I don't know what these are, but they smell good yes. and I'm ready to they eat them. They are addicting. <laughs> so what is in these? All right, these are the simplest things ever. Um, you start with white chocolate or almond bark, whichever okay. you like. I prefer the way that almond bark melts over um, the white chocolate chips. But so are there almonds in it? No, it's actually, oh. um, I should have shown it to you, I'm sorry. I left, <laughs> I'm terrible today. I've left two things over it's there. It's okay, we still love you. They're little chunks of white chocolate. Oh, okay. And they come There's in no a little tray. In it. No. Okay. And so, uh, but it has a slight almond and vanilla flavor to it. Oh, okay. All right, so, so that melts you're going to melt that in the microwave in a large bowl for one minute. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of your favorite peanut butter. Okay. All right. Can you and use natural peanut butter or not as good? Yes, but before you add it, you have to stir it really, really, really well to okay. incorporate all that oil. Okay. All right. And um, if you have to, you may even drain some of that oil off first. Okay. okay? So once you've got that all melted together, mm -hmm. then looks you can good. see it looks beautiful, nice and creamy. You're going to add your crisp rice, rice cereal. In this case, we're going to add about three cups. Okay. And then you're just going to fold it all together. Do you have to move pretty quick with this? This, no. Now, okay. normally when you make Rice Krispie treats, with yeah, the you, gotta move you fast. have to move fast. Yeah. It is a mess. <laughs> this is actually easier, takes less time, and is easier to clean up. Oh, love all of those yes. things. The okay. only trick to this is, is that um, once you have it all incorporated, you want to let it sit for a couple of minutes so that the chocolate doesn't melt too much. Now, oh. one of the things I like though is to have a marbled look. Yeah. So I like to add the chocolate in uh, to get it melty a little bit, as you okay. can see from the finished yeah, ones look here. Yeah, these look pretty. They have a little bit more of a marbled look to Okay. Them. I'm a chocoholic, so the more Same. chocolate flavor you the get better. in there, the better. <laughs> so let's just pretend that this has sat for a couple of minutes. Okay. You're going to add a half a bag of your favorite mini chocolate chips. Mini? Mm -hmm. They have to be mini? It's the easiest to eat that okay. way. All right. And then you're going to add a half a bag of your favorite mini marshmallows. Ah. And again, you're just folding it in. Now, we could talk about folding all day, but what I want to talk to you about is preparing a pan. Okay. okay? So you're going to spray your pan lightly with some kind of cooking spray. Okay. And then you're going to line it with parchment paper. So before you even put the parchment before in. Before you, you put spray. the parchment in, because you got to get to something that the parchment oh, can stick, stick to. Okay. And then the sides that aren't covered will, will then uh, be able to pull right out. Oh. So once you have this all incorporated, you're going to put this all in the pan, and then you're going to smash it down. <laughs> all right. Okay. Got it. <laughs> you guys, you guys understand where this is going, right? But the folding can take a few minutes. Yeah. So have your kids that do that. There. Yep. When you get it in there, then I like to put another piece of parchment on top and use my hands to really smash it down in there, so all the components really stick together, mm -hmm. so it doesn't fall apart when you cut it. Okay. So then you let it sit. A couple hours is all you need. Just out on the counter. Yeah. Do you have to just put out in the fridge no. or anything. If you put it in the refrigerator then you're going to need to let it sit at room temperature for at least an hour before you cut it. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's kind no, of hard No, we want to cut right in. So let's go ahead and so I'm going to enjoy one with you because these please. are ridiculously delicious. You can okay. see the... I just love her oh, facial yeah. expressions. <laughs> this I is so it. good. Now you know I have to make these for work at least once a week or people... The uh, peanut butter, the mutiny. chocolate, uh -huh. everything, mm -hmm. the crisp. Mm -hmm. Jill, I know. Nailed it between this and the pie. I'm set for summer. Yeah. And no bake, no sweat. No sweat. Easy cleanup. Oh man. I might be sweating by the time I eat all of these though. <laughs> Jill, thank Chocolate you. Sweats. Thank mm -hmm. you.